from the beginning, when I got on one of these machines, from the very first time I twisted that throttle to make these things go forward, I was hooked. The Boss Haas brand is, let's put it this way, our customers are so fanatical about this brand. They love it, everything about it. When a customer tattoos a logo on their body, that is significant. That is a type of brand loyalty that you don't find anywhere else in motorsports, period. And what's not to love? I mean, here you got a V8 motorcycle and with so many features and benefits that you're never gonna find in any other motorcycle in the world. It, I mean, you can't blame the consumer for being so fanatical about this. I'm a customer and I'm fanatical about it. It's an awesome brand. With our bikes, whether they be the LS bikes or the Stroker bikes, we, we do have two different options as far as transmissions. We've got the Nesco that we've had around since 2000 with many improvements, uh, which is a two-speed with reverse. We've also now got one that's built by Winners Racing specifically for us, also a two-speed with reverse. And our trikes have a four-speed automatic. A after building the first Stroker bike with the rake front end, uh, Monty was one of the first to take a test ride. And I remember him coming back from his short test ride and it was, it was a look like, uh, man, you got me. And his words were, that is the most stable bike that Boss Hoss has ever built. Our product is a logical progression for the motorcycle enthusiast. When you've ridden it all, ride a Boss Hoss. If there's any one thing that bugs me is to hear somebody say that's the way we've always done it. I don't care how we've always done it. We're gonna be open to change. And our change will come from the input of our customers, our dealers. But it's the commitment and the desire and a lot of the people that are rolling up their sleeves to get involved behind this brand, that's what's gonna make Boss Haas come back strong. We're working to put new technologies together that'll keep us compliant for going into Europe, international businesses. We wanna make Boss Haas a worldwide brand that it once was. And one of our goals is build a strong dealer base again build them the parts, the quality, the reliability of the machine, and let them know that there's a manufacturer that's standing behind it. What we're trying to develop at Boss Haas is a healthy dealer network. With a healthy and strong dealer network, we can provide the service that our customer requires in the marketplace. We're gonna put Boss Haas right back on the map. So what did you think about this ride? Wow, you have to wear super absorbent underwear when you ride this thing. <laughs> that was the best experience I've ever had on two wheels. Oh really? Hands down. Oh my god, I thought it was awesome. It was exhilarating. It was the most power I've ever felt underneath me. He, he went, man, we were just zooming down the road. It was great. It was great. I love, I love the Balls Halls. Second time I've ridden one and I love it. If I had the chance, I'd trade my Harley in, in a second for one, for sure. Balls Hall's handles as good as the Goldwing does. 
Uh, it was a good time. I enjoyed it. It's the first time I ever rode anything that big, that powerful. Oh, man, that thing's that's kick ass. It felt good. Uh, the power was awesome. Uh, it was uh, something I'd never experienced before, so uh, I'd recommend it, absolutely. It was an ultimate ride, I tell you. Makes me want to throw my Harley away. Most fun you can have with your clothes on. The ride uh, was really smooth, and it turned turned a lot easier, and I thought that bike seemed like it's pretty heavy, but it, it really turned really well, and it had lots of power, and you could really feel the torque on it. I loved it. I've been idolizing those bikes for quite a while. I'm going to have to have me one. Power on a power is, like, overwhelming. <laughs> it's a sweet bike. I enjoyed myself a lot. If, if I can do it, you can do it. I thought the center of gravity be, gravity would be a little different, and I like it. It's nice and low. Oh, it felt great. I mean, it's smooth. I mean, I, it might be heavy, but it, once you get going, oh man, you can't even tell. It's awesome. I think this bike was designed for a woman. Awesome. Gotta have one. Gotta have. Y'all gotta have one, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my God. It has a lot of power. You know, awesome power, smooth, smooth bike, good brakes, yeah. I'm surprised they were as balanced as they were. Awesome, I rode a trike. That's uh, awesome power. Thought it'd be heavier, a little harder to handle, but it was like riding my Harley. Makes my Harley feel like a mini bike. It was wonderful, wonderful. Never experienced anything like it in my life. <laughs> Very easy to handle. Easier to handle than my Springer soft tail. And a lot of torque. 40 torque, 60 oh, torque, yeah. 80 torque. It just had yeah. a lot of torque. I loved it. <laughs> what do I think? It's fabulous. Absolute total power. Amazing how a big bike like that handles so easily. It's incredible. It was awesome. All that power, and it was so easy to handle. That's what surprised me. Thank <laughs> you.